Okay, quick devlog before I leave today. I've been doing a bit of development, working on my project. As you guys know, I have decided to go with Dark Rift Networking as my networking solution versus building my server from the ground up, just because right now it's a lot easier to do that versus building the server from the ground up where I'll have to learn more about networking and a few other things. I'm gonna show you guys the updates that I made for my game. Uh, hopefully, OBS Studio will be able to capture some of the things this time. So, got my fingers crossed. Here we go. I changed a lot of the program. Um, before, it was it, every time it would launch, it would just go into a full screen. Now you have the option of making it full screen like this or making it resizable, which I always like that in computer programs, is always having a resizable window. So that's new. What's also new is that I've created some animations for the title screen. I'm gonna try to add some more animations with the, these red bits in the back here. Not too sure how to expand on that. I'm gonna try to turn them into like some type of particle or something Something like that just add more cool animations for the title screen I think that worked out pretty well I also changed up the main menu um, the options as for options, you know, now you get to go back, terms of use, go back. I haven't really added anything too much to it yet. I'm gonna add like a credit screen where you roll the credits here. I wanna talk about options really quick. For right now, the only two options I can really think of would be an option for volume, as well as an option for picking your language, which I think will be saved within the player preferences when you download the game. So basically you can always change the options. For example, if you play this game on someone else's computer or somewhere else, you'll always be able to change the options to your liking so you'll have that option and those options will be saved on that computer itself versus saving those options per player just look out for that in the future for right now the only languages I can actually translate my game to on my own without too much assistance would be French and Spanish but I would also like to translate the game to German and possibly Japanese or Korean if there's anyone out there that is bilingual and speaks any of those languages please contact me I would greatly appreciate that the next thing I added was you can't see it here the login has a bit of validation to it i haven't added the part where we are sending our information to the server just yet when you start this game the client already starts within the game so i haven't got into like server user validation too much but what i did do when it comes to buttons because i i talked about before how i wanted to change up the buttons and add some functionality to them if i click quit it does quit the program so that's one thing but i also started on my dark riff server i created one plugin called player manager i'm not going to show you guys too much code today i'll show you a little bit of code because if i show you anything more than what i'm about to show you today i run the possibility of getting hacked but i'm basically just going to show you guys the libraries i'm using and how i built my player manager i haven't gotten into it it's not too sophisticated it's a very very simple player manager so i'm going to run this client again and we have here client manager, new client connected at this IP address. It says hello player zero and it tells you total players here. Basically the way how this plugin works is that we're actually going to run more clients. We're going to go here to code for the most part, uh, using system, using system.net, dark riff, dark riff server, crypt chart, unity engine, and MySQL data. Cause I will be using my server to create SQL queries and you know, I haven't really written anything too much so I can show you guys a little bit, uh, we have a private int that says total players, another private int that says max players. Right now we're testing it for three. So basically if a fourth person tries to log in right now, they'll be disconnected from the server. I wanted to do a kind of like a, a command to send a message to the client to force disconnection, but I haven't gotten into that yet because I'm just having a few errors with Dark Rift. What we're gonna test right now is to see if the fourth client will get disconnected when it, when it tries to connect to the server. Hopefully OBS won't um, mess this up for me too much. It says client manager system.net sockets. Oh, I mean, it disconnects. It works technically. So this here would have been player four. Well, it disconnected a client, but I'm not too sure if it's actually the client that was supposed to get disconnected. Oh, no, no, no. Client three. Yeah. I got it right. It seems like I'm throwing some type of error. So I guess what I might do is try to fix this. But for now, this is what my Dark Rift server is gonna look like. The server is actually gonna be embedded into the game itself. So I actually won't have to worry too much about hosting this server from somewhere else. But for now, for testing my game, this is pretty good. This is all I really have to show you guys. So I guess it'll be the end of the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more from me. Also try to hit that notification bell so you get updated on my latest updates. 
Gates. It's uh, been great sharing this with you today. My name is Codemaster Jamal. Till next time, I'm signing out.